welcome to Earl Stewart on Cars. When it comes to repairs, that is a tough one because uh, when, when a technician tells you that you have to have something replaced or repaired, you're pretty much at his mercy because you haven't got the qualification to know that he's wrong. There's two ways to handle that. When you're talking to the service salesman, a.k.a. assistant service manager, you should ask to speak to the technician directly and ask the technician directly to explain to you why it needs this be sure to tell them if you're going to replace that part, I want to see the part after you take it off. Or if it's something that you can inspect now, ask if you can come into the shop. Now, some dealerships will tell you, you know, insurance won't allow you to come into the shop. Uh, you should ask anyway. If you can look at your car and have the technician show you the repair that needs to be done, show and tell is a good way to decide one way or the other. But if if you're repeatedly being uh, sold things that your that your own mechanic tells you you don't need and you've got a trusted mechanic i take it to him all the time i just stay out of the the shop that's doing that to you uh, if you want to take it to a dealer uh, f find another dealer if that particular dealer of your make brand isn't uh, treating you right then take it to a different one quality is is soared in cars today and the Ironically, the dealers are feeling that pinch of high quality, low maintenance. You compare the required maintenance and repairs to a car today with 20 years ago, there's no comparison. So the service departments and dealerships invest a lot of money. I would say they probably have more money invested in their service department than any other department in the dealership. Cost them millions of dollars in some cases. Uh, now suddenly the manufacturer is delivering a car that doesn't need to be fixed. So you create uh, desperation on the part of some of these dealers, and that's what they're doing. They're trying to sell you service because they feel like they have to. If they go with a factory-recommended service, they feel like they're going to lose money, and a lot of them do. 